If you have a refrigerator full of food, you probably know how it feels when the power goes out in the middle of the summer. You pray it doesn't stay out too long and spoil all the food. Well, for the Christian shelter in Salisbury, a recent fridge failure spoiled more than $2,000 worth of food. Mr. Anthony Dickerson is the executive director of the Christian Shelter. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Okay, so uh, we're obviously not talking a regular refrigerator no. that we have at home. Right. What happened? A commercial refrigerator. Well, um, our refrigerator is currently old. It's 20 years old. It has reached its life expectancy, and it, uh, we've been having a lot of problems with it. And the, the compressor went out. Um, we lost a lot of food. You, you know, now, now we're in a, a, a tight situation. Tight situation. So $2,000 worth yep. of yep. food. Yep. That yep. is amazing. How yep. many people could you feed with that? Probably, um, we can house 75, mm -hmm. uh, probably 75, mm. you know, people. Yeah. yeah. So. Now, uh, this is... Um, you're a nonprofit. You, you, so you depend on the community. Right. We to, depend to on do what donation. you do for your ministry. Yes. Yes. How's, how's that been? Um, our donations have been down. And um, again, our projects at the shelter are going up. The, the, the expenses are, are definitely right. going up. So that's, it's been disheartening. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I, I heard you quoted as saying that you, you, you know, you minister th physically, emotionally, right. spiritually, right. and the physical part is the food. Right. That is the physical part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a challenge, um, you know, providing meals. So our, our cook would have to, you know, modify and we can't save any food because mm -hmm. we don't have no way of refrigerating. So any leftover food we have to throw away. So you're completely, no refrigerator at all right now? N right now we don't have any refrigerator. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you said it's an old, big yeah, right. commercial right. refrigerator. Can, right. you, can you fix it? Um, Is there a re it, No, it has to be replaced. No and repair. so the cost is $180,000, and the reason why it's $180,000 is because the infrastructure, uh, the freezer and the refrigerator, it's, it's one unit. Uh, so we have to con we have to repair the infrastructure first, okay, and then we can put the uh, walk-in cooler box. So that's why the cost is so high. Wow. So what's the plan? How are you going to come up with that? Money? Well, I got a couple uh, calls um, before I, I, I came here, so I'm going to follow up on on those leads. So I, I think we, we we're going to have to go ahead and have a fundraiser mm -hmm. uh, to raise the money to to replace uh, the walk-in cooler. That is a bunch of money. Yeah. So. I guess it's going to take a bunch of people to yep. help. What can we as the community do to help? Yep. Well, if there's, a, if there's some businesses or uh, that can you know, get together and, and, and help us or uh, any small donation, either small or great, will be, will be helpful. You know, something that we try to always make sure that we do, that we failed to this afternoon, I'm sorry, right off the top we want to tell you thank you for your ministry, for your service because we know that you feel that burden to do what mm -hmm. you can for those who can't. Right. So so thank you for coming in and talking to us yes. about it today. And we really need to try to find some way to try to help, don't we? We sure do because the Christian Shelter has been around for a long time helping yep. a lot of people yep. and it needs to continue yep. to do so. <laughs> yes, yes. Anthony Dickerson, thank you so much you. for thank coming you. in and, and, and we're gonna we're gonna get you some Get you some money. Yes. Somehow, we're okay. all going to come together yeah. and help we'll you out. Yeah. Thank you, Thank fam. you.